those living on FM 732 didn't know the tragic events that were unfolding early Saturday morning. We felt the house shake when we heard the accident. Gertrude Loigel says her family thought what they felt was an earthquake Saturday morning. After several minutes, the family went outside. Gertrude says that's when they saw it, a teen driving a Chevy Silverado dead after colliding into a tractor trailer. And in the 30 years the families lived in the home, they've never witnessed anything this horrific. But says FM 732 is dangerous. Lights and speed bumps are exactly what we need in the area. There's few people and the area is very rural. Cars pass really fast. She believes the lack of lighting plays a role. Action 4 News took a drive to see exactly how many light posts we would see and only saw three. Gertrude says no lights and cars driving at high speeds are all recipes for disaster. Yo, yo nunca I never send the kids out to get the mail because the mailboxes are just too close to the street. I just don't feel safe. It's about six miles from Expressway South 77 to FM 732. Gertrude says she thinks putting up speed signs or road bumps would slow people down and cause fewer accidents. In San Benito, Veronica Gallegos, Action 4 News.